or something watching him in that home? I don't know. It's water. Ah! Oh. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another scary video. This one is by the channel Scary Calm. It's called Seven Most Shocking and Terrifying Scary Videos yeah. Found on the Internet. Oh, I'm 95. So you know what to do. Grab your popcorn, get comfy, and enjoy the show. A man possesses a unit filled with antiquated possessions in a storage facility. Then? The entire facility has gained notoriety for its eerie atmosphere, fueled no, by rumors of spectral presence. However, the contents of his unit amplify this unease. This is why. Among them the is a peculiar toy monkey, reputed to hold significant monetary value. How, what? Since acquiring this artifact, unsettling phenomena have unfolded. Unexplained bangs yeah. emanate from the unit and objects mysteriously relocate themselves. What? And suspecting him of clandestinely residing within the unit. <laughs> to disprove these allegations, he strategically I mean, placed happened. a you camera that inside. Video, right? Yeah. Is that thing cursed? Uh, Look at the dolls. Why wouldn't it be Watch cursed? The video if it turns towards the camera, I don't even... Oh! That's a... Is that a little person? This can't be real. It's looking. <laughs> the toy That's unexpectedly started moving on its own. Why? Yeah, I would, the I would owner freak of the out. establishment Wires. also suspects this toy monkey might be behind other unexplained noises heard within the premises. He promptly decided to put the doll up for sale. Did anyone buy it? I don't know why it was cursed in the first place. What was the backstory? During an abandoned house in the woods, Filthy Why? Valentine inadvertently recorded something unusual, did not this observe anything haunted. out of the ordinary in the video. However, upon reviewing this the footage, like ordinary he place. noticed something unsettling <laughs> that disturbed him greatly. Yeah, okay. You're telling me you went here and you're like, nothing's going to happen? Look at that water. I know. First water. First home. There's something watching him in that home? I don't know. It's water. Ah! Oh. Wait, what's that ghost face? Wait, go back. It... Is it? Something's watching him. You see the window? It's gone. Was it ghost face? Man, you need a better camera. Come on, dude. Is it a proper TV game? Did you notice it? Yeah. As Alistair sweeps the camera around, there appears yeah, to ghosts. be a pale, ghostly face visible in one of the windows, silently oh observing Alistair, who remains unaware of the potential presence nearby. As Alistair moves closer to the house, whatever was watching him has inexplicably disappeared, I, as though it yeah. vanished without a trace, no, leaving no spot. sign of its earlier presence. Viewers speculate that Alistair may have captured a ghost on camera. I'd say that's more so a person. What are your thoughts? Than a ghost? On... Yeah, because it looks like he's wearing a mask, right? And yeah. a, a robe. It's, so it's We're ghost... seeing this with potato quality photos and videos, so and she, yeah, <laughs> you see how uh, unstable the camera was? <sighs> you need a stabilizer. You act like these people like film for your, like National <laughs> Geographic or something. Like seriously. Uh, a family uh, observed that their garage door consistently remained open the next day, oh, that, prompting confusion and concern. They yeah, opted to I'd install concerned. security cameras to investigate. <laughs> The CCTV <laughs> footage depicts a figure exiting the house early in the morning, seemingly vanishing into thin air shortly after. The video quality is somewhat degraded, marked somewhat? by typical artifacts <laughs> often seen in phone recordings, which may prompt skepticism about its authenticity. Additionally, the figure appears to crouch, coinciding with the location of these visual distortions just before disappearing. I think this person is not trying before to get Before drawing caught conclusions a car. and assuming <laughs> deceit. What? It's a person. It's pretty obvious it's a person. And then the quality of the video, the, I don't know what those uh, bars were, but 
they just happen to it just happen to cover the figure so they can get away right have you seen that story about that in japan where the guy uh found out that uh, a homeless woman was living in his attic for a year and then she would just come down drink his stuff eat his food little by little it sounds like this this person goes into your house probably you know takes a shower eats your food and leaves in the morning a person was on holidays oh, wow. relaxing under the sun and while the enjoying nice his holidays he received notification from his cctv oh. surveillance oh that's the worst he... you're on vacation you f you get a notice from like your rent camera or something you can't even enjoy your vacation i'll be so mad awesome to check on, your on house. security camera that he like never relative, expected maybe? to what see friend? No one. this family recently and faced a, a similar person. situation <laughs> and remains puzzled about what transpired what that day is that Hey, another person leaving your house. Oh. Did you even see anything? Yeah, what's up with the so high Yeah. It, it looks like they opened a fridge, right? The activation of movements and lights within the supposedly vacant the house prompted us to replay the video <laughs> repeatedly, seeking right? explanations. Does it look like it? Did you also observe the figure passing by the left side of the mirror? Yeah, I saw it that. It suggests the house may not have been unoccupied after all. Yeah. Another intriguing observation was the transformation of the door's window from oval to square-shaped. Additionally, there was a sudden blue flash just before the lights illuminated, commonly utilized to mask editing errors, though it might what? simply be the camera shifting from infrared to visible light. As we delved oh. deeper into additional footage in hopes of clarity, we found ourselves descending into a vortex of eerie occurrences. Sometimes they open a fridge, but you you can't tell because the camera angle is horrible. Yeah, I expect to find a robber and get like facial recognition the video, on this angle. You'll observe yeah. the light turning off. Do you think the person that is in the house moved the camera up, or do you think the homeowner put it this way? The homeowner. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. It's probably fake. This is stage. It's probably his friend. <laughs> <laughs> if this doesn't suit. qualify as a yeah. classic case of discerning discrepancies, Amber Carter from Melbourne, Australia, and her oh. friend Tiana were parked at McDonald's, oh, savoring their meal, this is going. when they yeah. were suddenly startled by a frightening incident. Did you guys incident. see that video? Uh, yeah. Oh my, oh my god, Tiana, go. Oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god! Tiana! It's okay, honey. No, it's not. I know, Tiana. Tiana. seriously, listen to your Tiana. dog. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Amber reported that a strange woman approached her car window from behind and tried to open the passenger door multiple times. Why are you always Initially your startled locked? by the woman's appearance, she mistook her for a zombie. <laughs> the woman in question, well, though not undead, has garnered attention after Amber shared her encounter online. She looks like she could be a uh, part of Mad Max World too. Or a Walking Dead extra. Whichever one. <laughs> Residents of the Melbourne area have... Or, or what if she's just a method actor? She's just pretending to be can a you, zombie. Can you not? Please. Operated no. similar experiences. No. Noting that the woman has been observed attempting to access vehicles, apartments, and houses. Oh. This underscores the importance of keeping doors securely locked at all oh, times yeah. to prevent such incidents. Jade, from the Ghost Club Paranormal YouTube channel embarked on an investigation of the Sally House, oh. renowned for its unsettling history dating back to 1872. You guys remember Reports this house, Reports of intense right? paranormal occurrences, including physical attacks on previous inhabitants, oh, have yeah. perpetuated its notoriety. Among these incidents, one owner bore inexplicable, oh. yeah. vicious scratches across his body, attributed him, to right? an unseen yeah. force. Accompanied by friends Mandy and Austin, Jade entered the premises with a palpable sense what? of anticipation. If you knew the history and it was just a man being attacked, wouldn't it be smarter to just have women in your crew? If I was him and I saw those videos, I would be very worried. I would not be her friend anymore. Yeah. Because you're dragging them into this situation and I'll be... Like, Almost no. immediately, they sensed a distinct awareness of their presence within the house. What do you mean? Oh. What was Wait. Hello? Yeah, just leave. Someone in the kitchen? 
Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, you know what's in the kitchen? Yeah. This stuff freaks me out. Here. What? It's, it's, a door. Door. it's the fucking yeah, basement door. It's the basement door. Sounds like someone just knocked on the basement door. That's an insane. We're not allowed in the basement right now. We're not allowed in the basement. Sally was a little girl when this place used to be like a oh, doctor's office and surgeon's office. Picture. The surgeon lived upstairs and this is where he would I practice from. A woman came to his house late one night and she had a little girl who had trouble in her stomach. She was getting pains in that. The little girl's name is Sally. So Sally came in and then he performed like an emergency surgery on her. So the surgeon oh. gave Sally anesthesia so he could cut in to do this emergency surgery. <gasps> Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard it. I thought I just heard a little girl's voice or something just went, yeah. Oh my God. Anyway, he had to act really, really, really fast. So he didn't actually have time to wait for the anesthesia to kick <gasps> in. So he started cutting her open oh. and she could feel everything. Unfortunately, she did end up passing away from that surgery. And she said to haunt this place. Now these are the actual tool tools, the surgeon's don't, bag, don't everything. The wait, wait, wait. How did they get the hold of the bag of the surgeon? I think the homeowner left it. That's how they got access to this house. Well, how did they get it? Next owner who lived in this house, he would see a little girl. And this is the picture that he drew oh of gosh. the little girl. Several instances of bumps, knocks, and disembodied voices had already been recorded. As they proceeded to the next room, the occurrences took a stranger turn. Bell, difficult. What? Bell? Bell, difficult. difficult? We oh. have the bell, the oh. dead bell upstairs in Sally's room. I have it on the like the lowest sensitivity. Maybe she needs it up a little bit higher. Maybe she Move location, please. Move oh. location. <laughs> okay, now I have chills. I need to go upstairs and adjust the sensitivity on the bell. The bell's difficult you... up there. Oh my god, and the lighting's okay, red. Okay, I'm gonna set Chester and off. The carpet's Hi. red. This is like indicative of every horror movie when something bad's gonna happen. And the door's red to the basement. <gasps> there is an afterlife. Thank you. Please. Thank you. Was that better? We are delighted you're here. Oh my After fine tuning oh the sensitivity gosh. of the bell, it appeared to activate unexpectedly. Following Mandy's inquiry if the adjustment was satisfactory, a disembodied voice audibly responded with affirmation. It became evident that whatever entity she was engaging with had developed a favorable disposition towards her. Ooh, that's the worst. Okay. All right. Prepare. Care Prepare. Oh, what? Prepare yeah. for what? Yeah. Mandy. Oh, Mandy! <gasps> Bro. I have Hi. never heard that say Mandy. The spirit talker has never said Mandy before. Hi. Hello. Oh my Hello. God. Oh, I and, the bell. That. and the bell. The bell just rang. Prepare, rang. Mandy. I'm sweating. <laughs> Is it because so... Mandy turned the bell up for you? One for oh yes. Oh my God. And we honestly, we come here with the 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 most respect uh... for the spirit realm. And oh, oh what the you fuck? Go. Oh, oh, oh. I don't think oh, they care. What the fuck? Oh my god. Holy sh What the fuck I happened? No, oh, did I tell you? Did I just break my camera? Oh, oh my god. You good? Hold on. There's a Ouija board I've there never too. been touched like that in my entire life. Oh, you were touched. And the Oculus said touch. The way that I just got touched right now on mm. my back, like, uh, can I demonstrate to somebody? Keep the camera on, keep the the ca camera on but yours just turned off. I'm trying. I threw it down. Oh it's telling God. you to put your camera back on. I'm sorry, I'm oh, trying. Gosh. The spirit box something. abruptly singled out Mandy, directly addressing one of the investigators. Ooh. Subsequently, asserting that she had felt a physical touch. As the investigation progressed, it became apparent that whatever presence inhabited the house appeared to focus its attention on Mandy. I'll follow you home. Moving upstairs, uh, the trio initiated an EVP session led by Jade and Mandy. Is there a little girl named Sally with us in this room? Why would you ask that? Oh my gosh. Sorry, dude. It has not done that that many times. That was aggressive. Though. Where, wow. did that was aggressive. It, didn't, aggressive. it did not want us to talk about Sally. Yeah. What was he After doing? inquiring about Sally, the bell suddenly rang incessantly. 
What is she doing? What's going on? Picture? It's really weird. This feels really weird. <laughs> I, I don't what? Know. What is that? I. What, what is, that? is she doing? Yeah, I want to know. That's a heart. It's like the half of a heart. It is. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. Is she good? Yeah. <gasps> Jade. What is that? Oh my god. What? Just stay there. Stay there. Not hard. You're okay. Uh, hard. Take a breath. Take a breath. Monty, I need to call the hospital. No, no, no. Hey, take a breath. Take a breath. Take a breath. Take a breath. In through your nose. Does she need to go to the hospital? Out through your mouth. You're fine. In through your, through your nose. Mm. I thought I was going to have to go to hospital. I thought I was having a heart attack. I know. After a... Wait, she's, she's not going to explain what she was doing, pointing and stuff? What if she doesn't remember? I thought the whole point of doing this... Okay, I could be wrong because I, I don't know anything about this stuff, but... Because I thought it was just to concentrate better and then you could still communicate with the other people. I don't know. Guys, let us know in the comment section. I know some of you guys are ghost hunters, so let us know. Abruptly falling silent, Jade gestured towards oh, various points in the room. <laughs> she swiftly removed her equipment, expressing concern that her heart was racing uncontrollably and fearing a potential heart attack. They promptly exited the premises and opted to conclude the investigation on the spot. Everywhere Natalia Valente, accompanied by her mother and several friends, embarked her on an expedition to explore mother? the abandoned Cesario Motor Asylum in Piracicaba, Brazil. Oh, I think we Constructed in yeah. 1973, the think... Motor Asylum functioned as a facility for patients afflicted with severe or violent mental disorders. Amid widespread rumors of tragic patient fatalities, the asylum was ultimately compelled to cease operations in the 1990s. Makes sense. Now, three decades later, the property is reputedly highly haunted, particularly in what is known as the pink wing of the asylum. Situated on the second floor, the pink wing what reportedly asylum? housed haunted, mentally disturbed Honestly? children during its hospital, operational right? years. Yeah. Today, Remnants such as children's toys and posters are strewn throughout the desolate and eerie rooms of the Pink Wing. A gente vai entrar, já chegamos. Tô com medo! Entramos. Is this going to be funny later on after you see something else? Olha o tanto que a gente andou, olha isso. É muito grande. Agora a gente tá indo pra ala rosa. A ala rosa é a mais pesada que tem. Você tem noção? Ele veio uma vez e não quer nem descer. A gente tá numa parte onde tem vários brinquedos. É a parte de brinquedos. When Natalia and her group venture into the pink wing of the motor asylum, they encounter peculiar occurrences. Parte 5 e essa é a ala rosa. Que a gente. Nossa, quer dizer, she doesn't look so. The group is startled by a sudden loud noise, particularly affecting Natalia. This event marks the capture of something even more chilling. What? Stay yeah. tuned as they venture into the vicinity just outside the asylum's pink wing. Parte 3 da Ala Rosa, que é a pior ala que tem. Gente, quanto barro no chão. Não, não tem? Aqui, ó, a gente tá indo pros outros lados, que é bem escondido da Ala Rosa. Que é onde o povo ficava, tipo, real presaço. Bom, a gente tá indo agora pro necrotério. Não. Observing the group as they explore oh, the premises. Yeah. Most unsettlingly, these boys are positioned in the windows of the infamous pink wing of the asylum. They look real. Yeah. Are they just the uh, real kids, you think? I don't know. Just squatters? I don't know. Guys, if you made it this far, let us know which one was the scariest video. If you enjoyed this, please give us a like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.